Win after win, but you can't win them all. Helldivers 2 has recently been facing a lot of backlash, and it is for a recent update informing players that it will now be mandatory to connect their Steam account to a PSN account. Now look, I have seen a ton of videos ranging from 10 to 15 minutes. I don't really get it. It's not that complex. Why are people like dragging this drama out? It doesn't take that much to talk about it. So in the next five minutes, we're going to get through all of it. And at the end, we're going to have a rational perspective while also understanding that what Sony did is fucked up, but us as players, we can do better. So let's start off. Sony, piece of shit. <laughs> as we all know, you all have a right to be upset. With this new update, what Sony has effectively done is remove access to the game for a ton of players. Many countries don't allow you to make a PSN account, and now that it's mandatory to have one to play the game, players from those countries will no longer be able to play the game they have paid for and probably played for the last, you know, month or two. That is insane. It's absolutely ridiculous, and it's a practice we don't want to see in the gaming space. And it's no wonder people are so upset. Even if you are not affected by the region lock, you have every right to be upset, because this is setting a tone for the future of gaming. And I think another big reason people are so upset is that, you know, Helldivers 2 was supposed to stand as this example, this beacon, for a new tone in the gaming space. You know, a company that actually cared about its players and practices that didn't take advantage of players. They took mechanics like live service and battle pass systems and made them something positive and enriching for the player experience. And now suddenly, Helldiver 2 community is experiencing something that is pretty insane. But I urge you all to step back and remove your feelings and remember that Arrowhead is not at fault. Helldivers 2 is still a good game and Arrowhead is not to blame. This is Sony's fault. Now, you know, let me know in the comments if there's something I'm missing here, but as far as I know, this is not Arrowhead's doing. So stop review bombing the game on Steam. Stop going into the Helldivers Discord and ranting and raving. You're not helping. You're not being constructive. You're not helping anything. Sony's not going to change because you're yelling on the internet. Now, real quick, I figured we'd actually take a look at some of the Steam reviews since it's going crazy right now and it has been review bombed to 59 percent it was at like 85 percent before all this drama so i kind of want to just see if there's anything constructive being said because again one of my biggest issues right now that's happening is nobody's really saying anything that's helpful uh so we can see here requiring a psn account three months after release is insane completely valid uh we need to drop another nuke on japan Okay, well, that's the end of the Steam reviews. Look, I'll even pull up Discord right now. I'm going to pull it up live. It's probably going nuts right now. I'm pull it over. Okay, we're going to come to the end. And it's like I'm on Twitch. Look at that. Look at all the spammers. People just complaining. Nothing constructive. Not one thing. Just people fighting against each other for no reason. There's no reason for us to be mad at each other. Or complaining and making Arrowhead's life worse. Stop it. Get some help. Arrowhead doesn't deserve this. We should be going on there and saying, look Arrowhead, we're pissed. This is not acceptable, but we understand this is not your decision. But we hope that you're going to do everything in your power to find some kind of compromise, at the very least, give refunds to the people who are region locked. That shouldn't even be a question. People who can no longer play the game should be given a refund, no questions asked. But in terms of being forced to connect your Steam account to a PSN account, I'm hoping that Arrowhead will do everything they can to maybe find a middle ground with Sony. I don't have too much hope that Sony will change their mind on it, but as long as we know that Arrowhead is trying their best, that's all we can ask. Because the reality is, I'm sure Arrowhead is not stoked about this either, but they didn't really have a choice. So let's not make their life any worse, and let's take a breath and remember that we can't control Sony, but we can control ourselves. So let's be a little more constructive and try to find a solution moving forward. Don't let a shitty company like Sony turn us into absolute degens who just complain on the internet and make the gaming space even worse. Let's recognize the problems, let's talk about these problems because they should be talked about, and you do what you think is best. If you think not playing the game, if you think voicing your concerns on the internet is important, do that, but be as constructive as possible. And just please, stop being retarded. You too, Sony. Especially you. And yeah, that's about it. See ya.